Hello, I'm Chad Hansen. Uh, I'm the chair professor of Chinese philosophy emeritus at the University of Hong Kong, and I'm speaking to you from Hong Kong. And we in Hong Kong like to think of this as a kind of pivot between East and West. And we're going to be presenting a course to you on Chinese philosophy that focuses on the concept of Tao. And this is a concept that we kind of like to think of as the inspiration for the Star Wars idea of the guide that Luke focuses on when he goes to target Darth Vader's Death Star. Use the Force, so follow the Tao and it will take you to your target. Han Solo treats all of this talk about the Force as an ancient, old, weird religion. But we'll see that it's not really religious, but it lies on the boundary between religion and philosophy. It's a natural scheme of nature's guidance, guidance that does not depend on a supernatural force, but that we just discover in nature. Practical impact of knowing Tao is knowing how to do things, knowing how to follow nature's guiding paths. We will talk about the philosopher Mencius and his theory about the ether, the flood-like ether that fills the whole universe and all of you so that you can feel the force and feel the perturbations in the force. We will talk about Zhuangzi's axis of Tao's where everything is possible. We'll talk about Shen Dao's great Tao, the space-time history of everything from the beginning of time to the end of time. We'll talk about Lao Tzu's Tao Te Ching, the most translated of all the texts in Chinese thought into Western languages. Our survey focuses on a hundred schools of thought. We'll start with Confucius, because he is the first, and then we'll talk about his great rival Mozart. Mozart is a very interesting character that you may never have heard of unless you were watching Neil deGrasse Tyson's Cosmos, where he was featured as one of the forerunners of the theory of light. But he's also a very interesting forerunner in ethics and in politics. His ethical theories and political theories, if we look for a counterpart in the West, we have to jump up almost 2,000 years to find counterparts that are at all close to what Mozart advocated in the 4th century BC. So we're going to explore all of these and many more ideas from this classical period, and we invite you to join us for this philosophically motivated course studying ancient Chinese metaethics. We're studying the roles of humanity and nature in Chinese teachings about ethical guidance and about morality. If you're interested, please join us at the edX website. Look for HKU03X to find this course. If you want to join us in the next segment, we will be talking about the texts and the content and the focus of the course.